All right, guys, listen up. We're going to break down three stocks in this video that I think could be exploding here in the short term. We're going to break down the charts, my thoughts, what I'm looking to do, where I'm looking to enter, exit, all that good stuff. So if y'all find value, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, guys. I appreciate you all as always. And you might as well follow me on X at Stocks Talk Stocks. And if you want to check out my Patreon, no pressure, but you get access to my Patreon portfolio, my charts, Discord, all that good stuff. That's linked down below, guys. Make sure to join. And with that being said, folks, cheers. Let's dive right into the video. So we're going to go over again, three stocks in this video that I think are on the verge of breaking out. Potentially, it's not guaranteed. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you guys what to do. All right. The disclosure uh, or the uh, disclaimer is out there, guys. Please, please, please do your own research. So number one, stock number one, is nvidia let me pull it up and show you guys and by the way these are all for trades not for long-term investments for me right now at these valuations guys these are all for trades based on the chart so keep that in mind that's where my head's coming from with these uh you know stocks that's kind of how i'm looking at them so number one we have nvidia here nvda which if you guys have seen this stock's been pretty flat over the past couple of months. And it makes sense, right? Considering how much the stock went up over the course of the beginning of this year, the first half of this year, if you will. Uh, really, it was the first eight months of the year. Then it started cooling off back in uh, July, August. So it makes sense. It's cooling off after a massive move. And that is usually what happens with stocks that uh, run up a lot, right? The fundamentals need to catch up to the valuation, in other words, and that's kind of what we're noticing right now. If you guys take a look here on the one-year chart, I mean, NVIDIA, just about a year ago, funny enough, it was $138. Unfreaking believable, guys, $138 per share, and it's now at 500 bucks, pushing 500 bucks, and it's been pretty flat over the past couple of months, like I said. So if I pull up this four-hour chart, you guys can see the wedge that we're in, right? Higher lows are being made, but at the same time, we're making lower highs. We hit 520 back in August. We hit roughly um, in the end of November about 500, 502. And now we're testing the top of the wedge again as we're at what? 498, 499, 500 bucks right now in real time. And you guys can see if we do break this wedge, we could have clear blue skies, at least in the very short term on NVIDIA, um, you know, maybe towards 520. Then if that were to break, it would really be clear blue skies, in my opinion, uh, from that point. And this is a company that obviously is pricing in a ton of future growth. And let's say, for example, they cut guidance. They, uh, you know, trim guidance or the forecast, whatever, that would not be good for the stock. But if they continue hitting on all cylinders, if they even raise their guidance next time they report, man, this stock could go bananas. I mean, we saw it a couple quarters ago where they just raised their guidance out of nowhere. I mean, it was ridiculous. It was way above the estimates. They crushed EPS revenue. I don't know if they were sandbagging their numbers or what. But, man, they crushed it, and their stock went bananas. I think it was this quarter right here back in May. It was at 300 bucks. Then all of a sudden, we were over 400 uh, the day after. Maybe it was the quarter before that. Uh, but either way, man, this stock is, you know, very sensitive to earnings, guidance, and let me tell you, man, this thing's been flat. It could be getting ready for an explosion on any good piece of news, guidance, forecast uh, that comes out, right? So NVIDIA is one that I'm watching here at the 500, 520 mark. If it breaks, I think we could get a trade um, towards the mid 500s, maybe high 500s in the short term. So I'm watching this one heading into the new year. And let me see, Netflix is number two, NFLX is the ticker. Let me pull it up. Netflix is now breaking out in real time. You guys probably remember I mentioned this, I think a couple of days ago, but I'm mentioning it here yet again as it's breaking out. You guys can see now we hit $500.70 earlier in the day as now we're taking out the highs from the middle of July, which were right around 490 and from it looks like the end of November, early December of this month, where we hit about 480, 485, 490. So we're clearly starting to break out here on Netflix. We're above, obviously, the moving averages. Uh, you know, we have a golden cross, all that good stuff. And just like NVIDIA, guys, Netflix has been uh, pretty flat 
over the course of the last couple of months. Really, the second half of 2023, it's uh, it's been pretty rocky and flat overall for Netflix. And now that we're taking out 490, 500, we're starting to get out of that resistance. We're really looking good, especially here on the three-year chart. You guys can see we have a wide open window now. Uh, let me get the circle tool out and show you guys what I'm looking at here. Wide open gap right here between 495, 500 to about 550, 555. If you guys look here on Netflix's chart, if I zoom in, 555 was the high from it looks like the beginning of 2021 all throughout the end of 2021, pretty much up until September 2021. Then we broke 555 and ran all the way to 700. So that is the next gap in my eyes, right? 500 to about 555. Then if 555 were to break, we could be going towards, dare I say, 700 bucks over time. Dare I say 700 bucks. Totally possible, guys. Totally in the cards. And uh, looks like here NVIDIA and Netflix are looking pretty similar. Maybe not so much chart-wise, but uh, in terms of return year-to-date, you can see, uh, you know, actually not, not necessarily, but uh, it's funny. The numbers are pretty similar. NVIDIA hit about 150, a bottomed out at that. Now it's at 500. Um, and so is Netflix. It hit 160. Now it's pretty much at 500. It's like the same. It's it's almost like we're looking at the same stock, but it's obviously a very um, different. Uh, these two are very, very different. But either way, Netflix is looking to break out. It's, it's breaking out real time pretty much. And maybe it's getting ready for a move to the mid 500s. And NVIDIA, same thing, guys, pretty much. Uh, the same thing. We're watching that wedge on the four-hour chart on NVIDIA. And last but not least, guys, let me pull this up. And actually, before we look at this stock here, guys, don't forget to get your free stocks from Moomoo. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks using that link down below, you get five stocks each up to $2,000. And if you want to up the ante a little bit, why not fund your account with at least $1,000 on top of those five stocks you just got. You get 10 more stocks totaling 50 15 stocks each up to two thousand dollars guys so get on it man use that link down below what are you waiting for and with that being said cheers let's talk about the last stock here which is n phase ticker symbol e n p h guys n phase is down a little bit on the day when i'm making the video at least i don't know where it is when you're watching the video but it's down currently almost one percent it's in the mid 130s and it looks like here we broke out of 130 125 128 which was resistance back in uh, August, September, heading into October. So we broke out of that. And mind you, uh, Enphase has been rallying for a good couple of weeks now. It's actually up almost 100%, which is nuts. It was at 71 bucks. Now we're pushing uh, 140. So we're up almost pretty much a double, uh, which is nice. And there could be more upside by the looks of this, guys, especially now as we're you know breaking out of this downwards are uh, this downtrend pretty much. We're taking out the highs from the middle of October, end of September, middle of September. This looks like we could be getting ready for a breakout. You know, we're already up 100%. Keep that in mind. But the next gap here that we could fill, that we could play in, is up to about 190, 195. Uh, actually, no, maybe not 195. Well, that is one of the targets, but initially we might go to about 150, 155. That was actually support all throughout the end of April, May, heading into June, July. Uh, yeah, not, not so much in August, but that was support during that time period. Then we broke under it. Then it became resistance, right? So now we're breaking out of again, 130. We might fill the gap to 155 potentially in the short term. Then if that were to break, like I said, boom, Maybe 190, 95, that could be the next target. So what do you guys think about these three stocks? Again, NVIDIA, Netflix, Enphase, those are the three that I'm watching. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button and make sure to subscribe, guys, for more content like this. And you might as well follow me on X at Stocks Talk Stocks. Link down below and I'll catch you all later.